today we are going to cover a fun topic called inheritance let's understand inheritance by taking the example of vehicle when you think about vehicles you have uh, so many vehicles available for use such as car trucks motorcycle etc but they provide a same purpose which is transportation and when it when you go to specific type of vehicles such as car and motorcycle they have their own purposes and own characteristic for example a car has four wheels it has a roof whereas motorcycle has only two wheels and it has got no roof car also has specific usages such as commute to work and vacation with family whereas motorcycle is primarily used for road trip and racing so as shown in this diagram both of these vehicles cars and motorcycle can be thought of as subclasses of a base class called vehicle and they share the same properties of a vehicle class which is to provide transportation but on top of that same shared property they have their own specific characteristics and purposes such as wheels or roof difference and specific usages so here you can say that we have derived car and motorcycle subclass from a class vehicle or you can also say that these two classes inherit from a vehicle class so that's essentially the definition of inheritance here now what we are going to do next is we are going to implement this same example in python so i have a python pycharm code editor open here and i'm going to write our first class which which is vehicle now if you remember from my last video uh, the way you write classes is using a class keyword followed by the name of the class and colon and then you start typing your uh, methods so here i'm going to create one method in my vehicle class which is a general usage and the general usage is i'm going to say okay the general use of vehicle car vehicle class is to provide transportation now i'm going to derive my first subclass called car from vehicle and the way you inherit a class from another class is by writing the name of that class in in bracket like this so here it means my car class is derived from vehicle class or it's inherited from a vehicle class here i'm going to write an init method which is same as constructor and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to say okay i am car okay and i'm going to now define certain properties such as wheels is four and has roof equal to true okay the second method i'm going to write is specific usage so car has got some specific usage uh, which is commute to work vacation with family etc okay so this is how i derive my class from another class okay now let's write our second class which is motorcycle and this is again derived from a vehicle class and i'm it's essentially i'm just going to copy this code here and here i'm going to say okay i am motorcycle and the specific use will be different than that of the car and the specific use here is road trip and racing okay so we just derived two classes motor and car from vehicle now let's create some objects of it and let's try to realize like what real benefit this inheritance thing is giving us so the first object is the car object so i'm going to say c is equal to car and first print c dot general usage now notice that 
car class doesn't have a method called general usage and still I can call that method. Why? Because I have inherited that method from vehicle class here. Since this car class is derived from vehicle class, I have an access to use all the methods and properties from my parent class. Okay, so think about this being a parent and these two are its children. So C dot general usage and C dot specific usage. Okay, now let's first execute this and see what happens. So when I run this here, it is saying I am car. So when I created the class object here, it executed this constructor and that's why it is saying I am car. Then the second thing I did is C dot general usage. So C dot general usage was transportation. So as you see here, it says general usage transportation and that's what it printed here. And when I say C dot specific usage, it is going to print the specific usage as shown here, which is commute to work and vacation with family. So you can confirm that that's what it printed. Okay, now let's create a an object of class motorcycle. So here I'm just creating an object of motorcycle class and again I'm going to print the general usage and the specific usage. So when I run this, what happens here is it says I'm motorcycle, my general usage is transportation and my specific use is road trip and racing. Okay, so key takeaway from this exercise is you can call a method or a property on your from your parent class using the object of your derived class. So these car and motorcycle are derived classes. C and M are objects of derived classes and using those objects, I'm calling this general usage method of my parent class. And then you can call the specific methods from those subclasses. Now, if you don't want to call this general usage property um, method explicitly, you can call that within uh, your specific usage method. So here in specific usage method, I can say self dot general usage. So remember self is an object of car class. And since it is derived from vehicle, you'll be able to call general usage here. And same thing you can do in motorcycle class. So self dot general usage. Okay. So here I'm creating an instance of car and motorcycle class and just calling specific usage method. So if I execute this, I get the same output as what we saw previously. So it calls specific usage met, uh, method, then it comes here. It calls general usage method, which is this guy. And then it calls the specific usage code. Okay, that was a simple way to illustrate inheritance using vehicle example. If you have any doubts or any questions please post in the comments below the next section we are covering is the benefits of inheritance the there are three primary benefits of inheritance number one is code reuse as you saw in this example of vehicle you can reuse the code of your parent class so let's say uh, when you're programming in python and someone has returned a class already and you want to use all the code in that class but on top of that you want to do some customizations of your own then using inheritance you can do that easily that's why it provides a code reuse the second benefit is extensibility and it kind of overlaps with this first benefit that we just talked about in vehicle example we extended our vehicle class to derive new classes such as car and motorcycle the third benefit is the readability. Uh, it provides a very nice structure to your program, especially when you're writing a big program. You want your code to be such that it remains readable. Because if the code is simple, few lines, it's easy to read. But if the code is less than a million line of code, it's very hard to read it uh, for troubleshooting purpose and for developing new features uh, using inheritance you will be able to gain this readability as it will provide a nice and uniform structure to your program. Okay, one last thing we want to quickly cover is is instance and is subclass methods. So here in the same 
example, what I'm going to do is, so I just created two class objects. I'm, I'm not going to call any method here. Uh, so I have car instance and motorcycle instance. And let me first call is instance method. So is instance is a built-in function uh, available in Python. And what it will do is it will tell you if uh, an object is an instance of a specific class or not. For example, here C is an instance of our car class. So when I run this and let me just print this. Okay, when I run this, uh, it is saying I am car, I am motorcycle and true. So the, the execution of this resulted into true, which means C is indeed an object of class. But if I do motorcycle here, it will say false because C is not an object of motorcycle class. Okay, so that is is instance. Now there is another method called is subclass. What it means is if car is a subclass of vehicle or not so you want to figure out if one class is a subclass of another then just use is subclass method when you run this you get true because car is a subclass of vehicle but if i say car is a subclass of motorcycle then it's gonna print false because car is not derived from motorcycle you know car is more like a sibling of motorcycle uh, it's not a child of motorcycle. Okay, so that was all about inheritance. Thank you for watching